Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. Um, I've played a few days uh, in order to make a few changes around here. So let's quickly run through the changes that we've done. Again, thank you so much for your excuse me for your awesome support. Um, I've been I've lo I'm loving the comments and there's one thing in particular that I picked up from the comments that I had no idea about was that you can click over here well i'm assuming it doesn't you're not able to open that in the evenings uh anyway you can click on let's say something like this you can click on that and if you're looking for a specific skill all you need to do is filter by that skill um, and then you can unlock more of those people not that it's working right now but i have had it work anyway that's fine i'm not gonna bother with that anymore so let's quickly what did we change Okay, I thought our setup was getting a little messy over here. So what I've done is I've kind of um, separated the doctor's rooms or where the patients kind of hang out most of the time from the hospitalization areas. And there's one little thing here that I could probably do with changing a little bit. Um, and this is this corridor section through here. But anyway, so for now, this is where the the, uh, the doctor's rooms are. One, two, three, four, five, six of them over here. I've added an extra one and hired an extra uh, doctor. I've moved the x-ray all the way back there. So now the x-ray department is completely behind this door in this corridor. So that's pretty cool. I've added uh, proper waiting rooms for internal medicine and general surgery um, offices over here and I've added an extra internal medicine office there. I've moved this trauma center back over here and I'm kind of tempted to move this door back in here as well. Uh, but I'll we'll see about getting the, there. I've added a cleaning closet for the um, ICU just because it was getting pretty nasty in there. Um, and that is pretty much it in terms of the changes. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's it really. Um, up here, I didn't make any changes. We have had a number of surgeries and things in the few days. And I did get a ton of cash due to a grant that came in 95% prestige in a, in a specific department. And I believe that would have been internal uh, or, or general surgery department over here. But now that we've got the cash, there's a couple of things we need to do. Certainly we need to purchase um, some ambulances. If we purchase ambulances, we could get um, another one over here. Um, we will get some more patients per ambulance per day and so on. So there's two things I want to do in this episode. First thing is buy some ambulances. So let's buy probably two ambulances. Uh, if I can figure out where they are over there. So I would like two ambulances, please. We'll go with the purple ones. Is that how, how on earth do you park these guys? Is it like that? And then like this? Yeah, probably. Or like that. Yeah, we can do that. Anyway, let's purchase. Can only be placed on the ground level. Okay, my bad. Maybe that's why, yeah, it looked funny. Because we were on the wrong level. Okay. Um, reward increase ambulance patients by three per day. Um, and I'm potentially keen to add another one. Shall we wait with it just a little bit? So now we've got two. And we need to treat 60 patients per day and then we get another pretty decent grant over there. We still need a couple more to unlock this one over here. The other thing I wanted to do is I want to go upstairs and I want to add an internal medicine hospitalization section over here. But I am also pretty tempted to... To, uh, to make this area look a little bit nicer over here. So what I was thinking is potentially we need to provide a bit of a kind of a little lobby area over here maybe. Or maybe that's not even... Because people aren't waiting around over here, right? There's no waiting around in the lobby area. So maybe it's not a requirement. We do need to, to clean things up a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go into internal medicine. We'll go to hospitalization. So we need a few things. 
uh, various on call rooms and you can see I've, I've actually placed um, and I moved things around here a little bit so that we can actually add an extra elevator in there should it become a requirement. Okay, but so what we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves. Uh, we need a few things. We need a few things. We need on call rooms. So let's get um, get some on call rooms going on. Prefab, internal medicine, um, hospitalization. So we'll go with an on call room. And I'm not going to go with the biggest on call rooms. We're going to try and restrict to smaller ones. And I'm thinking on call room should go over here so that this entire section can be dedicated to the growth, potential growth of the. Um, of the uh, general surgery department. So what we'll do here is we will, do we have a common room up here somewhere? Do we need one up here? Because these on call rooms are pretty much like common rooms too. If I go back to the hospitalization section, yes, we don't need, um, we don't need um, common rooms here, so we won't we might won't make room for one, but we could potentially do something like a large bathroom or something like that, potentially. Yeah, so let's uh, let's have a look at that. So if we say go back to prefab stuff and we go to restrooms, six by eight maybe. Yeah, so something like that is is the restroom sizing. But anyway, we're not going to bother with that just yet. What I'll do is we'll start off with the on-call rooms. I'm thinking like so. So we'll do an on-call room over there and then 6 by 8 Is that, uh, or do we do the bigger one? I mean, four by, four, mm, 6 by 8 or 6 by 10 um, That's pretty big. Um, and where did we, yeah, so those are, those are fairly similar in terms of size. So the question is, do we need that big? Uh, and I think for this specialist department, probably not. Maybe general surgery is, is the case. So we'll get an on-call room. We'll go beyond that. We'll get a nurse's station. Okay. Um, the question I was having is probably place it over there. Okay. So we'll do that. Nurse, uh, we can move it. We can move it to the other side. Okay, on call a nurse's station. Then we need um, a diagnostics unit. And we'll have that um, right next to the doctor's offices over here. And we can squeeze two of them in there. So we'll do that. We'll go one there. Uh, we won't do the other right now. And then we need to do uh, maybe not a choreography unit. Did we do a choreography? We did, in fact. So maybe the choreography unit is the one that goes next to it. So something like that, maybe. Choreography unit right over there. And now we need to do, well, I'm not, should I do operating straight away? Maybe I should do just regular ward and HDU ward. Um, and they'll squeeze in quite nicely over here. Um, or what I'll think what I think we'll do is we'll squeeze them in um, on this side over here so we'll do uh, we'll do the standard ward and we will do a high dependency dependency ward and I believe or I'm kind of hoping that that's going to be the um, the extent of what we what we need over here hmm okay so with that in mind that's a bit big larger than I expected so how, how much room? So potentially we'll do the cleaning closet over here. Next to that, um, is there anything else we need? I think that is about it. Uh, well, the operating theater is the other one. How much money do we have? 123. Maybe the operating theater is in fact a nice one for us to slot in while we have a little bit of cash. So let's, let's grab the operating theater. Operating room is what it is called. Um, so operating room is, I'm thinking something like that. The opposite side of the ward. Um, something like here, very central maybe. 
yeah it could could be helpful if it's there alternatively we could squeeze it in over there it could fill out that section yeah i think that's better i'll put it in there so that we can use the rest of this for wards yeah that's that's good let's do that let's place it the operating room right over there so now that's pretty good now what we also need to do is we need a bit of a cleaning closet um over here four by six standard cleaning closet we're going to squeeze that in right next to the wards over here like so or i'm just thinking uh, we need a we need a restroom we definitely need a restroom so let's do shall we just do a six by four oh actually let's do that let's do a six by six restroom yeah like that will be pretty cool um cleaning closet and something else then and then the cleaning closet is just way is not not quite not quite what we i mean in terms of size so maybe that's the case and then what we'll do is we'll just put in a larger bathroom okay let's do that uh, so cleaning closet over there and then i'll just do the the fairly large um fairly large restroom something like this and what we'll do is we'll expand that a little bit more so a little something like that so it's quite nice and close to it okay so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and um, clear out some walls over here Okay, so what we'll do is we'll select hopefully the same kind of color. So if we, oh man, you just can't can't see anything. Yeah, so it's not it's it's not workable. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll just gonna kind of hopefully grab what is supposed to be that. No, that's the wrong color. What? How can that be? Is it is it a yellow color yeah it seems seemingly a yellow color so we'll just do that um, we'll then go and get the orange color for the rest of it over here um, we'll grab this because obviously from the outside it's how it's going to look and feel we'll get ourselves a couple of doors the white door over there we'll get some flooring going on sorry flooring going on i think it's going to be this one Ooh, no, it's not. It's going to be that one. There we go. And it's also going to be maybe this one. Yeah, perfecto. Okay, now let's see the equipment that we need. This is going to be a bathroom. So we will, in fact, add another one like that and another one like this. And a sink over there plus one of these guys and a hand dryer and a mirror and finally we need to kind of remember to expand <coughs> expand the size of that so this is a in fact um this is a, a restroom over here so we'll just make sure to expand it like such so now it's a pretty sizable restroom um, over here which will be used by multiple people uh, I would I would imagine but anyway oh, wrong button there we go so now that's in place so now we just need to hire a few staff members and then we'll get the game running um, and that should be sufficient for now um, also I can get a CT scanner Ooh, but we've just trimmed back our budget quite a lot that operating room is very expensive okay let's get our staff in here so for the day we need three um three doctors including an a surgeon and anesthesiologist okay so let's grab uh doctors we want internal medicine we would like um we would like surgeons please ah there we go internal medicine surgery uh what's going to be our i think this one mark right over there thank you very much and we need two more and they will be anesthesiologists so we'll grab this one over here dr judy i think that's going to be good we'll grab dr judy over there and we just need a, an extra doctor 
of some kind of variety. So let's see what else is the options for us. Um, I would imagine not diagnostics, but I would think maybe an extra, an extra surgeon or, or, or not necessarily a surgeon, just internal medicine, someone that's still kind of training. Yes, so we can level them up um, ourselves. Yeah, I think that's that's about the right. We'll do that. So three day doctors now. One night doctor is what is required. Uh, we'll get to the nurses now. One night doctor. Um, and what we'll do is we'll make sure we are in fact going to grab the surgeons. Anybody that's going to be um, a night owl? No, not at all. So let's just grab um, this one here as a surgeon. She's going to be slow. So we'll grab Mary. Um, as the nighttime doctor over there. Okay, good stuff. So now we need some nurses over here. So let's get some daytime nurses. We need at least two surgery. We need three nurses, but at least two of them needs to be surgery nurses, surgical nurses. So we'll grab that. We'll see who we can get. <coughs> um, ah, so she's going to be pretty good. So we'll grab her <coughs> and we'll grab another surgical nurse please so that's that's the button that I was talking about um, <clears throat> she's not that expensive so we'll grab her so that's okay we need a third one at, at least uh, but she doesn't need any real kind of skills so we'll just grab uh, one that's gonna just start it out maybe a junior nurse or nursing intern there we go so she can start training up and then in the evenings we need um, we need one nurse in the evenings, but I will go ahead and get a surgical nurse just so that, um, and she's a night owl over there, so she's going to be the one um, for the evening uh, the evening shift. So we don't, won't necessarily be able to do operations in the evening, but we will at least be ready for the basics. We need ourselves a bit of a technologist over here um, for this unit. This is cardi cardiology. And I don't quite know why we have to have cardiology in every one. But anyway, that's going to be okay. 16%, anything. Yeah, I think that's that's about right. We'll get Charles to come and, to come and work that. And I'm not sure we need someone in the evenings. Um, ooh, we need a few of these. So let's just grab um, one for the day and one for the night for now. Anybody? Yeah, anyway, that's fine. We'll just grab those two. For now and we'll see how it goes okay so that should be pretty much everything we've got ready uh, to go uh, let's go downstairs and what i'm keen on doing oh we've got um, a lot of rooms here that's not quite looking the way they should and i'm just going to switch it off so it doesn't bother us too much but what i'm thinking i should do is i'm actually going to go ahead and expand our foundation a little bit so what we'll do is i will add um, a little bit of room right over there i'm not too sure actually let's before we do that let's quickly have a look at the prefab stuff for the ct room um, and that's going to be 10 by 6 so exactly what we're going to what we were planning on doing right over there so 10 10 by 10 is what it's going to be because we're going to allow for some corridor space over there we're going to grab ourselves some walls. Ooh, on the outside, we wanted an exterior, an exterior wall. Let's uh, let's quickly have a look at how that's going to look like. Um, the exterior wall is this one, white. Um, but we're keen on doing this color, I would imagine. Yep, absolutely. So that's <clears throat> that's the exterior wall. We'll drop that back down and we'll go with just white for the in inside here. Do that, we'll do that. We will trim back the wall over here. Uh, that section over there. We'll grab ourselves the CT room. Hang on. No, 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 no. What is this? Oops. I believe that is the CT room, isn't it? Okay, hang on. What, what, are, what, are, what are we looking at over here? This is... Did I... Is there a... Wait, hang on. The MRI. The MRI is the one that I don't have. So we've got the CT. The MRI is what I need. Um, so let's let's actually 
go with that again. I'm assuming it's the similar size. It is in fact the similar size, so that's okay. So we'll get the MRI room in there. Um, how much is that one going to set us back? 60,000. So that's going to really trim out the rest of our cash flow. Um, I'll quickly uh, sort out the, the flooring over here. And then just have a quick look at what our rooms are like. Um, so that's a bit of a corridor. Um, I will actually get rid of that corridor there and we will go ahead and extend the waiting room. But then we've got pretty much everything we need over here. We could do with a better new common room, but anyway, that's going to be okay. We'll get a daytime radiologist for now. Um, I'm thinking Casey Young is going to be the guy. Or alternatively, fast but long commute. So let's go, Casey, you're going to be the one. Um, and let's get cracking. So there we've spent a lot of the cash that we've uh, that we just got in here now. So now at least we'll be able to do MRIs during um, during the day. Um, a lot of people kind of, oh, this is the new people that I've just hired. Okay, so that's kind of the setup that we've got going on. So let's speed things along. Are we having nighttime surgery going on over here? I'm assuming there's people that require surgery. Um, oh, actually, what we can do is I'll just um, uh, click over here and we'll see. Yeah, so there's a, a number of people that require surgery. None of them are critical. Um, so we will hopefully get some surgery happening during the... Um, during the uh, during the evening, I think there they go. Yep, here comes the doctors. Surgery is gonna gonna go. Okay, so yes, laparoscopic surgery is in the general ward, not in the HDU ward. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead with that. Um, we've got the two ambulances now. We could potentially purchase another one. Hopefully, we'll make a little bit of money, and we can go ahead and purchase the the other ambulance and get that one sorted. Someone is going to come on in here. We do need to expand some of these facilities. We've got two people in ICU, but it's, at least there's still one bed available there. Okay, so but I think we've expanded our hospital a fair bit. So that surgery should be concluded now. Um, there's a hidden symptom, but it doesn't seem to be too problematic. So the patient has been treated, in fact. Hopefully we can get um, a fair bit of, of that sorted out now. What needs to happen over here? Long wait for treatment, yes, I understand, but we only have the one uh, operating room. Um, you've been treated, um, and you are... You've been treated as well, right? Or not? Oh yes, you've also been treated. Okay, so you should be okay. Nice, so the, the, the bad stuff has been done. Okay. Now, where's my um, on-call doctor? Really? You, you've decided now is the time to be hanging out over here. This person is lying on, on here, kind of dying. <laughs> Can you please? Yes, finally. Okay, we're sorting out what's going on here. I'm really hoping we'll start making a little bit of money now because we have thus far only kind of dealt with um, dealt or uh, received our money from grants. Uh, I probably need to allocate some of these corridors so that we, uh, but I'll do that after the episode. I'll quickly sort out the corridors. So general surgery department is having a look over here. Oh no, that's someone else. Someone else, uh, abdominal surgery has been done. We've hospitalized someone in the HDU. Uh, yes, this is, this is her back injury there's still a hidden symptom there but doesn't seem to be too scary there is a common room up here question is is it the requirement if if so a common room is something that we probably need to place in somewhere over here anyway we'll get to that what's happening you're just being hospitalized are you being treated at all or you're still awaiting some stuff checked by nurse Oh, so there's a CT that needs to be performed. So you're going to have to... Uh, there might be someone there for now. Okay, anyway. Let's uh, let's see what's happening over here. What's going on here? 
Pancreatitis, you just had what? An ECG done? Which of these are actually working in the evenings? It's a little weird. Yes, I get it. I get it. We don't have all the staff working in the evenings. Oh, there goes another ambulance. Okay, another patient getting getting in here, going over there. Hopefully we'll get... There's a few more people that actually need to get surgery. If I double click that and just have a quick look over here, only two um, requiring surgery. So hopefully in the next day we will get through that because new people will be arriving. We need to be able to get through that a little quicker. Uh, Monitor patient is collapsing. Okay, this is not good. So there's some kind of hidden symptom there, septic shock that needs to be checked out. Where exactly? Oh, over there. Okay, you're going to the ICU. Um, hopefully some of you in the ICU can start move somewhere else. I don't want to expand this ICU just again. Okay, so we'll have a quick look to see. Okay. Let's get this patient coming in. And now that doctor is obviously changing shift, so it's just brilliant. Sarcoidosis. Excellent. Okay, I want to see... Just have a look. Okay, the doctor is actually having a look over here. Uh, being hospitalized in um, in the internal medicine department. Okay, that's an interesting one. Okay, I just want to see the end of the night shift here to see what kind of cash we get in. There should be a few people that's, uh, that's going to come out of this. Uh, anybody? 3,300 only. Okay, so not that much. Not that much. How much hospitalization do we have going on over here? Someone is coming in, probably HDU hospitalization. Yes, okay. So now the doctors can start doing their thing over here. Okay. Is there a hidden symptom that's going to be problematic over here? I don't know. Lots happening in the hospital, but we are expanding um, and we're making a little bit of money, it seems. So we can almost procure ourselves an additional um, ambulance. But I am starting to worry about this. How quickly can we get this person um, sorted out? Because really, what, are, what are, our physical exams are being required. So where's the doctor? Where's my ICU doctor? This is a, okay, this is my doctor, so he's doing his thing over here, kind of figure out why people are collapsing, good stuff, um, now the complicated diagnosis, okay, let's have a look, um, you should just kind of start doing all the other stuff. So sleeping problems, fatigue, I think there's usually speech listening that's required here. Um, that could help. And then after that, we'll have a quick look. So let's, uh, let's, let's see about assisting that a little bit. Okay, so long reaction time and confusion. And so insomnia has been diagnosed. And that means sleeping drugs only. Okay, so that should be fine. There's no uh, w uh, valid waiting room within reach of a cardiography unit. So where are you at? Really? Oh, did I? Hang on, hang on. Let's let's have a quick look. Cardiography unit. What do you mean? There is one. Um, are they actually using the ups? That's exactly the same thing. Okay, so what I'll do is I will assign a waiting room then over here next to the cardiography. Uh, actually, that's uh, that's not what I'm after. I'll assign a waiting room. See, this is I always find this a little strange. So anyway, there's a little bit of a waiting room going on over there. We'll give you a little bench, even though. Probably shouldn't. I don't I, see. There's some stuff here that I just quite 
really struggle to understand but anyway that's fine we'll grab that we'll give it a nice green color and we'll uh we'll place it up there so fine hopefully that is going to sort you out are you going to come up here to hospitalization and going to come to this cardiography unit instead of the x-ray one I, I, that's the piece that i i'm not quite wrapping my head around but I think we're managing um, our patient volumes pretty well over here. We've got plenty of doctors now. So we should be able to manage most of them. Um, what is becoming a little bit of a problem is the numbers over here. So I think I'll probably just go ahead and expand this one. That one is also problematic, but that is too costly. We probably can't afford um, the upgrade over there. So let's quickly go into this. Click there and say, well... We'll grab you uh, another hospital. Oh, that's that's not this one, right? You want the modern one. Uh, what color did we use here? I can never can never for remember. It is the red one. It is in fact the red one. Didn't makes a lot of sense that we're doing the red one. Um, yeah, so we'll do it over there, and then there'll be probably enough room for yet another one over there so that's okay so now we'll get ourselves a bedside oh we'll need a bedside table there we go we'll grab um we need one of these little lights uh, i think that one's just going to be the black color there why are you yeah there we go um we need um one of these life monitors i believe is that the one that we're going to use there we go I believe that should be all done. Now we'll just grab ourselves a chair um, so that that person also has someone that can actually wait for them while they're being hospitalized. So we'll add an extra bed over there. That should kind of do the thing. I uh, know this area is a bit of a mess. We will, um, uh, in terms of cleaning the, the hospital so that it all looks nice and pretty, that's something that's going to happen a little bit later. So this person is now collapsing um, and... Okay, let's have a look at this. There's a collapse patient going on as well. Um, what is going on over here? So that's hoarseness, dysphagia, swallow pains. So I would think a larin, a larin just, a, a, I don't know how to say it, but anyway, that thing would be the, the way to actually check what's going on over there. Um, and we could also have a quick look at a nasal cavity no 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 that's not the one the nasal cavity inspection i think that's kind of the the thing that we could could look at i'll keep that one open while we see what's happening with the collapsed patient up here can i i don't want to lose barbara actually i think the collapsed patient should be fine where where's Bar Bar so barbara is currently having that is that going to deliver anything for us? It in fact did. Larynx are infected. So laryngitis is the one that we're after. Nasal inspection is obviously not going to deliver much for us. But anyway, the rest should be fine. Um, that's it. Antibiotics should treat that quite well. Excellent. Why that diagnosis was that so complicated? I have no idea. Where are our patient is collapsing? Your staff will do their best to keep them alive. Okay. Currently regular hospitalization. So where's my staff? Come on, staff. Where's the, I'm assuming the doctor is also supposed to be on the way. Oh, no. Where are you going? HDU. Okay, well, that's fine. That's not a very big deal. What happened over there? So you should be okay. Have you been treated? Cholera. IV antibiotics. Not yet. So what are you waiting for? Transported to examination. Okay, perfect. I think that should be the case then. Okay, well guys, it is uh, the hospital is progressing quite nicely. Um, we've got a bit of room for expansion and I want to kind of keep it that way. Um, always make sure that there is a bit of room for expansion. I'm not sure we've actually used our MRI machine just yet, but at least we've got a proper functioning radiology department now. We'll have to at some point um, have a little uh, cross... Um, We'll need to find out where exactly the cross should be so that we don't end up filling the entire thing. Yeah, we'll need to figure that out a little bit. But guys, anyway, that's where I'm going to put the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again for all the support. Um, if you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.